My name is Jared, and this week in Rideshare, Grubhub fights fees, Philly gets an app, and Uber offers French. Vous parlez anglais? Legal Rideshare breaks it down. Let's start with Monday. It looks like Grubhub is going to court over caps on delivery fees. Mass Live explains. Quote, some cities responded by temporarily capping the discount rate third party services could charge. They in return decided to go to court in order to get that cap overturned. Well, here's some good news. It looks like rideshare actually reduces drunk driving fatalities. The week explains. Quote, ride sharing has decreased US alcohol related traffic fatalities by over 6% while also reducing the number of overall fatalities by 4%. Philly's Delivery Guys isn't just a cool name, it's actually a new service. The Philadelphia Inquirer explains. Quote, the company now has about 50 drivers working with eight food preparers and more than 50 of those drivers are women working part time. Interested in learning French? Well, drive for Uber and you may be able to. The Verge explains. Quote, Uber is teaming up with Rosetta Stone, which will cover over 24 languages and be fully integrated into the Uber app used by its workers. It looks like drivers may be returning eventually. The Philadelphia Inquirer explains. Quote, most analysts and the company themselves project the supply of drivers will increase after Labor Day as schools and more workplaces open, obviously depending on COVID-19. That is the end of this week in Rideshare. See you next week.